welcome to our programming channel we are learning execute non query method execute reader method execute scalar method in adio.net in first part we have seen execute non query method this is part 2 in this part we will learn what is execute reader method and how it works we will see this method with example execute reader method execute reader method is used to execute the sql statements or stored procedure execute reader method is used to get and read the set of rows fetched we can execute sql statements or stored procedure and after execution of sql statement or stored procedure we get result set or rows we can able to get and read all the rows with execute reader method or we can able to read multiple values with execute reader method returns sql data reader object means the result set or result of select query can be stored in sql data reader object the sql data reader object is a forward only read only retrieval of query results from the data source records can be read in forward direction only and one by one read only retrieval means we cannot insert new record or delete existing record or update existing record thus sql data reader object that is sql data reader cannot make any changes in the database or update the data or records so the sql data reader object do not update the data it contains so when there is select query at that time we can use execute reader method execute reader method uses select command till now this is code in main method and this is code in non query method and now we will take this connection string and using block in this method also we can use execute reader method when we are using select query so string query is equal to select star from cold ring now we will initialize command object with query and connection object 
same like previous so copy this and paste here connection must be open so con dot open cmd obj dot execute reader execute reader so we will get result of this select query and we can store that result in data reader object so sql data reader class and this is the object of SQL data reader class DR and result of this select query will be stored in this data reader object DR. If DR dot has rows while dr.read method first column is id data type is integer dr dot get in 32 second column is name data type is where care 50 so here dr dot get string third column is quantity and data type is float dr dot get float First, we will see the output with taking these three columns. Close this bracket and semicolon. And close the connection. Console.readline. And if we run the program, enter number of execute method according to your choice we want to see the output of execute reader method so enter number one we get system dot invalid cast exception specified cast is not valid column quantity have data type float but for get float method it is giving error so here we can use dr dot get double get double method and now dr number one now we can see first three columns id name quantity quantity is proper 750 2.25 and 1.75 like this now we will take next three columns also fourth column is unit and data type is where care 50 so dr dot get string in bracket three fifth column is price and data type is int means integer so here dr dot get in 32 in bracket 4 
x column is container and data type is where care 50 so dr dot get string in bracket 5 now run the program enter one we can see three columns so here three then four and five and now we are getting all the columns and all the records of select query we have eight records now because previously we deleted one record having id 8 so here we cannot see record with id 8 here also we can see same result And here we can see records read by data reader one by one and forward only. And in this way, we get all the data that is all the rows or records from the result set. Thus, we get multiple values with execute reader method but records are not aligned properly in console application this is the problem we cannot get records aligned properly in asp.net or in c sharp we can use grid view or data grid view now here these are indexes and these are also indexes in curly brackets so now give comma and then here we can give any number suppose we give number 2 and here suppose if we give 15 then here we give 3 first we will see alignment of records for 3 columns only Now we can see first three columns with proper alignment because these three columns are aligned properly. So next three columns also aligned properly. But here we can see alignment of name of cold rings is right alignment. So here to align left we can give minus 15 minus 15 now we can see the alignment of name is left alignment and here we have given 15 so we get more space here and here we have given 3 now we can align now we can align next columns also now here we will give 5 here also comma and 5 and here also comma 5 and here also comma 5 and now we can see records aligned properly
and here if we want column names id name quantity unit rise container then above while loop console dot write line id name quantity unit price container these are the column names so but these column names are not properly aligned so backslash t so we will get some space here also backslash t and here backslash t backslash t for unit we are not giving backslash t and now here we can give some space manually here here and here also one space and now here also seven minus seven one and here minus five now records are properly aligned in this way we can use execute reader method and now we will see execute scalar method That's all for execute reader method in adio.net. In our channel, there are regular uploads of programming related videos. So for latest updates, please subscribe the channel and like and share videos. Thanks for watching.